Well, hello YouTube. This is Captain Dave of Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Sitting here in the wolf den and we're going to talk about the advantages that I believe that you have over changing to on your lures treble hooks to the inline single hooks. I'll give you an example. This is a steel shad. I love these lures. They have so much action and they're so versatile. And this one here is a three quarter ounce. These lures came with these trebles. I can bend that out on the first decent sized Jack Creval. That hook right there. These are primarily a freshwater lure. In all reality, that's kind of their target market. And it's funny because one of the things that I think I discovered was when I was on their website, I believe these people were bought out or, or owned now by the same company that bought cold steel knives. So uh, look at the advantage here. Number one, you got a wickedly sharp single hook. And and the only reason I'm going over this is I don't know if everybody knows this or not. But if you look at this, look at the wire diameter difference. I mean, there's a huge difference in wire diameter and hooking power. You've got more of a wide gap on these in line, and the reason they call them in line is that right there. The eye is in line with the hook point. You've got so much more meat that can go in between this hole right here. I mean, look at my whole index finger can go in there. And these ain't nothing but, let's see. These are VMC 2 watts. That's just a 2 watt hole. Now, I don't know what that is, but I'd say that is close to a 4. But it's a wire hook. It's a decent hook. It's probably a VMC. Okay. I like VMCs and I like Mustads. They're my, my go-tos. And how you end up putting these on is as the lure, it doesn't matter what lure really, as it's going through the water, you know, this folds back that way and this one's that way. That's the way I've always seen them and that's the way I've always done it. I don't know if everybody knows about this. I mean, some lures today are literally coming with these, but they're, you know, they're kind of the, a step up lure many times. All right. So these are my steel shads. And here is my steel shad two ounce deep water, vibrating lure, jigging, big deep water lure. That's what this is. It shimmies on the way down. You pulse it and vibrates up. I mean, I love these blade baits. And maybe I've even said it before, but if it's metal, I like it. I like it. I like durable, simple, and that's what these are. So these come with single hooks because they're a bigger but I don't understand for the price of these why they just don't go to the inline see how these hooks are one's facing this way one's facing that way and they're these siwash hooks which are I don't know I don't I really don't have an opinion on a siwash hook but I'm changing these out to these Mustad 6-aught 
I don't know what they are. I'd assume they're damn close to the same thing. And I'm going to change these out. Look at the difference here, though. Let me get these trebles out of the way. We're kind of finished talking about trebles. Well, no, we're not. We're sort of finished talking about trebles. But thicker and, of course, a bit wider gapped, right? I mean, just a, these are probably VMCs also because they got that perma steel finish on them. But talk about, I mean, just difference. And since we're on that same subject, I was having such a problem using these pieces of crapola. I've had these for years. I bought like five pair on eBay in a, in a bundle. These were Kevin Van Dam, KVD, Mustad, cutters, and split ring pliers. Well, let me tell you, them split ring pliers ain't that good. Number one, they look bent. So, I was having a hard time on some smaller lures changing out the split rings. So... I naturally went straight to Amazon looking for something a whole lot nicer and found these. They're called, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, X-U-R-O-N, X-U-R-O-N, and these are made in USA. These are all made in USA. I found these at a lot better price on eBay, so I bought two pair. But the difference here is, you know, the right tools make the job so much easier, as we all know. This, these got a notch right there. Look how my fingernail can go in that notch right there. All right, and they're just finer at the tip. You don't need it for big old split rings like this, but when you start getting into smaller split rings, you know, if your split ring pliers ain't working right, you're you're going to have a fit, and it was giving me a fit. So I decided to step it up a notch. I'm going to get rid of them. And I got these, and I mean, they were very competitively priced. I can't say exactly, but I think I got two pair for $22. That's the way I like it. So you go on in here, right? And here's the big deal now. You want to put that on so the hook is up. Because what you're trying to do, I mean, if you can, it's very tough on a lure like this, but you're trying to make it less, a little less snaggy in all reality. That's the way it is in my mind. That's for sure. Because boy, do I snag some stuff. So you want to put it on and you want it to end up pointing up. All right. So you can put them on backwards because I've been, <laughs> I've been talking on the phone and I've been putting these on and I end up turning around and looking at them and I put the dang thing down. I put them all on wrong. So there you go. The next one, I would put the same way. I would put it so it's pointing this way, which as you can see, this one can't do, right? So I'll do that in a minute. Another thing that I found since I'm on this topic is I found this on Amazon and what I mean, I didn't expect it. I expected some cheap, you know, Chinese junk. But this is a whole kit. I got it on my Tools of the Trade page on my Amazon affiliates, which of course helps out this channel to be able to show you stuff like this and at the same time help me with some content and 
some fishing equipment here. So you got this nice little case. And I mean, it's nice. I didn't expect this. You open it up and they're marked. They're marked. You got number zero here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And your smallest ones, of course, I won't be using too many of these, I'm sure. But I mean, they're micro, if you can see them in there. They're very micro. Let me see if I can pull one out. Oh, yeah. That is mega micro. Try opening that with some crappy things like these. It ain't gonna happen, folks. It just isn't gonna happen. But I could probably do it with my new Exuron. But I don't, I don't use them that, that small very often. What I found out in here is basically the number four. I mean, it's a damn near lifetime supply. I mean, it really is. There's your number fours. And then, of course, you've got your mega size here, which still isn't mega mega, but it's mega for your average lure. And there's the size of a number eight. So you got them right there in that kit. And I think this was like 20 bucks free shipping, you know. And I mean, it came like the next day. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And, <coughs> excuse me, what happens is now, I mean, let's say you used up a bunch. And you could say, oh, I'm out of number threes almost. You could just order a pack of like 50 or something number threes and dump them in there. And... The, the, I did leave a uh, Amazon review on this, and I said, they are very good springy steel. There is some split rings that you open that split ring up just once. You go in here, and you open that split ring just one time with a thick hook. Okay? I'll show you what I'm talking about. You go in here and you open this up one time sometimes. I mean, these on, on some cheap. These are a little, a little flimsy that come on this, um, on this uh, steel shad. They're a little flimsy, but I believe they'll do. Sometimes you do that and then you look and the damn thing's all sprung out already. So I tested these. You know, I added some new ones and bigger ones to some lures and they're very springy they come right back i was i was very surprised and that's what i said in my amazon review of these i can't remember who the seller or the name but my amazon affiliates tools of the trade page tools of the trade of fishing boating being a tackle freak, being a knife lover, all that stuff is on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, and there's always a link below. Now, Amazon changed some stuff. They want us to start doing a lot of video reviews. That's what they want. So when you go to my Amazon Affiliates page, link in the video description below this video, You'll open it up, and I have a video on there about my Mr. Funnel, I believe. And then there's a list. You got to click on that. They kind of screwed it up because it used to just go boom and open it up straight to all the products that I've reviewed and everything. But they seem to have changed that. So it's just not one click anymore. Now you'll bring it up, and you'll see my video, but then you'll see my listing. And you have to click on the listing. So how do you end up picking the hook that you want to use? And how do you do it on something like one of my favorite mirror lures of all time, which is this 65M? Believe it or not, that fluorescent head, silver body and white, I don't know what it is about it, but even my old sea daddy, Captain Randall, 
rest in peace, Captain Randall, always used to say, in the springtime, use the craziest colors, the flashiest bargain bin colors for mirror lures for trout. And he's right, because I literally sat with this lure one time on the inside. This is what the killer was. If you're familiar with the Mayport Jetties, if you're from around here, I literally sat on the inside of the Mayport Jetties, on the north inside, meaning the river side, right at the very tip where the water's splashing up and down on the rocks, and casted this up there. And did a one potato, two potato, three potato twitch. One potato, two potato, three potato twitch. And I got my trout limit. It was May. And I kept going. I got my trout limit in the box. And I kept going. And I caught 10 trout on these right here. Because it has a faster sink rate. And in that, there wasn't any current really. The, the current, I, I hit it just perfect. I anchored up my jetty anchor right ahead of the end of the jetties and I casted this in there and it was May. Oops, sorry, just bumped the camera. But I never caught a jack, I never caught a ladyfish. It was speckled trout. And I've used these before. My biggest yellowmouth trout, known as a weak fish, came off the craziest color I could find in a bargain bin. At a, at a tackle shop the crazy it was it was like fluorescent everything it was just ridiculous I never seen one like that before and I pitched it on the south side of the south jetty one time and twitched it and came up with my biggish yellow mouth trout slash weak fish in my entire life I thought it was a 30 inch red. It was a seven and a half pound yellow mouth weak fish. And it was on one of these. So the 65M has a little place in my heart. And I'm thinking I've got a whole collection of these, believe it or not. And they're not as wacky colors as I, not, not all of them are crazy colors for springtime. But what would you do on something like this? Well, I think I would probably get rid of these and go to split rings. Because, you know, Mirror Lure has his hook hanger. And it's a possibility. I don't know. I might be able to put one of these two watts in there. Where's my two watt hose? I might be able to put one of these in there. Let's see what that would look like. Just off the top of our head. Of course, I'm picking the the craziest mirror lure that nobody uses. I don't even know. You know, everybody thinks mirror lure. They think, ooh, shallow water. Ooh, suspending. Ooh, twitchy this. Oh, flats. No, not me. I throw these into the dang jetty rocks, you know. So, that is not going to go on there. As you can see, the hook hanger goes with the body. And so does this hook. So that might take a little split ring. I'll have to see. Now it would work on here, definitely with a split ring. And if it makes the sink rate a little quicker, I'm all up for it. I'm all up for it because I'm fishing deeper water with current. So that gives you an example of what you need. So having an assortment like this of your split rings and an assortment of hooks. Now granted, I stick with the name branders here. The quality name branders. Mustad, VMCs. I really like these Mustads. But uh, see, I got, I got Mustad 2 watts also. And these are VMC 2 watts. I don't see a huge difference in them except for one's black and one's silver. But you can, you know how, you can go on Amazon and you could buy like an entire pack like this. What I didn't like is the fact that I look at them and there's a lot of those cheap Chinese ones in packages that don't look like the eye is closed completely. I don't know what's up with that, but you'd, 
I ain't gonna trust something that don't have the eye closed, crimped closed. There's always a gap in them when you look on those those listings. I don't like that. So if you're gonna ever switch to single hooks, because you're going to get a bigger bite. There's no two bits about it. You're going to get a bigger bite onto the fish with this. Let's go ahead and put one on here. Let me get one of these out, finish this up right now, just because. All right, let's get this one out. Because I put these upside down too. I must have to like dyslexia or something. Sometimes I'm, I'm just not paying attention. So I want this one to ride this way. So I'm going to put it on like that. All right. So you go on in here. It's just a way of really kind of souping up your lure. And I think it's to our advantage. I'll quote somebody that I really respect and like Larry Dahlberg from the old show Hunt for Big Fish. The man traveled the world catching monster everything. And he's really a, just a Minnesota musky guy. He's a lure designer. He's a tackle crafter. He builds his own soft plastics. He's designed lures and everything for, for river to sea. And he always said, there's, there's one thing I always caught when he said it was, if I can get away from a treble hook, you know, I'll do all I can to get away from treble hooks. So there you go. There it is. It's on there. This thing here, man, I'll tell you, I dropped this to the bottom over a bait school last year offshore and started just pulsing it up because of when it's these blade baits. You know, the further you go back, I got new blade baits coming that I just ordered because I'm so fascinated with these. Um, yeah, in a bait school, I don't know what it was, but I got my butt handed to me. I believe it was last summer. On this exact bait it could have been just a cuda but I lost it whatever it was I did not have I usually now I'm not run, I'm not pitching these I don't care where I'm at but I'm running um, a length of at least 45 pound single strand to a swivel to a little ball bearing swivel because there's just so many toothy critters in the summertime and that's about it, really. But I believe, you know, if you wanted to soup your lures up, if you've never heard of these, I might be, I might be preaching to the choir. I just don't know. Nobody tells me nothing. I do not know what America does. But that, to me, looks a whole lot nicer and fishier than these little trebles here. I mean, I, I commonly will hook into a Jack Creval or something, and I mean, they will, they will screw a dang little wire hook up like that in a New York minute, man. So I like to get rid of those. Of course, on this mirror lure, I might have changed this because they look like VMC four times strong permasteel hooks. They're much stouter than this. I probably changed them out because they might have gotten rusty because I I used to throw these a lot more than I have lately but that's back before you know gas was five dollars a gallon and when it was cheaper I could go out and just do a lot more research and development type fishing which anymore it's tough to do. It's tough to do that go out there and drop a hundred dollars and make a video, you know, that it's going to take me uh, to 25 years to make a hundred dollars on that video. But I like these a whole lot better, these three quarters. And I've got, I've got half ounce ones. Half ounce ones, are, these steel shads are real small. They're really small. 
and the split rings were micro. I didn't even put a hook on the front. I just put a, a single on the back because, you know, that that one hook in the back would just be plenty on a lure that's only like this long. I may do another follow-up when I get my a new blade baits that I ordered because, as I said, I'm always fascinated with steel and simplicity. The new ones that I'm looking at or I that I ordered have five holes. So you can go back. Oh man, just the vibration. This will thump your rod right here even. That will thump your rod. And commonly, you know, while I'm waiting on customers, as you've seen in one of my videos when I got attacked by a hardhead catfish. You know, when I'm waiting on customers, I go around with this one here, just around the docks, and I pitch it out, and I'm trying to see if I can pick up a flounder or a trout or jacks or ladyfish or just anything, just waiting on people, because I'm always down at the boat ramp early. So there you go. Single hooks. I believe it's a whole lot better system. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.